You're probably aware that gold and fossil fuels are some of the most sought after resources for humans. But the truth is, there are a lot of things that we can find that can fetch a pretty penny if you're able to find a buyer. While some of these items might be sold on the black market, others can be found simply floating around the ocean. From highly sought after bat poop to abnormally pure water that can only be found in certain places. Here are the strangest and the most expensive resources on earth. But first, we'd like to thank this subscriber for leaving us this comment. Let us know what you think about the video and maybe we'll feature you. Number 10, Moon Rocks. If somehow you can go to the moon, harvest some moon rocks, and bring them back to Earth, you'll likely be extremely rich. Despite the expense of getting there, with moon rocks selling at 50,000 per gram, you wouldn't need to bring back much in order to at least break even. Astronauts didn't want to bring too much back with them after the Apollo mission, possibly hoping to keep the price pretty high. There's an estimated toll of 842 pounds of moon rock on display, and has even been considered a national gift. The astronauts who recover the material are not allowed to keep a personal supply. Moon rocks are also so expensive on the black market that even people working at NASA's space stations have been caught trying to sell it. One woman got caught trying to sell $1.7 million worth of moon rocks and was charged with a federal crime. Number 9. Guano You might see it on your car and see it as an inconvenient way to start your day. But who knew bat and bird poop can get pretty expensive? Similar to gold rushes, guano rushes had a huge role in expanding the U.S. influence further west. Lawmakers in the mid-1800s basically stated that we can settle pretty much anywhere on an island as long as we discovered bird poop on it. People risked their lives for this stuff, and it was originally how some Pacific islands became part of the U.S. that would later become islands for military bases. It's typically used as a fertilizer, and it's sold for high prices to the southern states. In recent times, the product has kind of seen a rise in use, typically from organic farmers. Workers in countries who are rich in this rare resource, such as Peru and Chile, can earn more than your average farmer by collecting this stuff. But is it worth carrying heavy sacks of guano every day? It's not quite as pricey as it was back in the day, but depending on the quality, it can still sell for pretty high. Number 8. Designer Water Bottles Seems like some fancy H2O can be a no-go if you don't got the dough. For example, let's take a look at the company Veen from Lapland, Finland. Finland is already known to have amazing tap water, so you gotta be curious how their expensive bottled water would taste. Argued to be the purest of all bottled water in the world, it's priced at $23 per 750 milliliters. They also put quite a bit of effort into the water bottle design as you can tell. The water from Lapland has very low concentration of anything else and is some high quality H2O even Adam Sandler would appreciate. With some of the freshest air and water, Finland has seen a surge in Chinese tourists by 68% recently. Are they planning to take over? Number 7. Swallow's Nest Soup Not only is this soup extremely expensive, but it's also legal in some parts of the world. Because it's kind of messed up to destroy the nest of swallows, they've already seen a population decrease due to pesticides. This species of bird also puts a ton of time and effort into building these nests, and they're helpful to humans since they eat bugs. Swallows build their nest on or in people's homes, and homeowners are asked nicely to be cool with it and not try to eat it. It's become a delicacy in China, of course, but does this really look that appetizing? You're typically eating the parts of the nest that are dried saliva, and the rest of it is basically mud. It certainly has to be carefully prepared. Finding their nest is difficult enough and sometimes dangerous considering how high up they usually are. How much would one kilogram of swallow's nest soup go for? About 3,000. Number 6. Algae Biofuel If you thought gas prices were getting kind of expensive, just be glad we haven't switched to algae biofuel just yet. This would cost us about 33 bucks a gallon. It's a little bit more than most people would like to pay for algae fuel, but it could get cheaper if advancements are continuing to be made. Byproducts from certain algae might also be used for pet food as well, which kind of seems gross. But more and more people are hopping on the algae train, buying into it. Blue algae is considered by many to be one of the most nutrient-rich foods out there with high concentrations of protein, vitamins, and antioxidants. In any case, algae biofuel for cars requires much attention from farmers and some scientific research in order to get the right products. Many believe that algae could be more productive than other biofuels and should be more environmentally friendly as well. More research is certainly needed. Number 5. Your Organs 
you're probably not going to be buying any harvested human organs at the grocery store anytime soon, and you can't really sell your kidney at the pawn shop. However, if you venture off onto the black market, you'll realize how much you're really worth. You'll also realize you're kind of getting ripped off. The current price given to a kidney donor, according to Havoxcope.com, is about 5000 bucks. But in the end, an average kidney buyer is willing to pay $150,000 for it. Of course, it depends on what country you're in, whether you smoke or drink, and where the buyer of the kidney is from. If you go to countries such as Vietnam, Romania, Kenya, India, and Bangladesh, they seem to have the cheapest kidneys, where donors are given less than 2500 bucks. Israeli organ traffickers who felt like they were doing a deed for society were caught selling kidneys underground, making about 60000 each. This, of course, was after the price for the surgeon and the kidney itself. $300,000 for a pristine kidney was offered by a Singaporean businessman, but his attempt failed and he went to jail. Number 4. Silk It might make for some pretty sexy nightgowns, but when you think about it, silk is pretty weird. Originally made from China about 5,000 years ago, it's produced by the cocoons of silkworms and prized for its luxurious soft texture. The cocoons are boiled, which PETA would argue is cruel, and it also makes it easier to unravel. Don't feel too bad though if you're vegan. These moths die of starvation after a few days because it no longer has a mouth after the cocoon stage is over. It takes two to 3,000 cocoons in order to produce just one pound of thread. Not only is it a time-consuming process, one thread can be as long as 900 yards, believe it or not. Much of it must be made by hand due to the delicacy, and that's another reason why it's expensive. One pound of mulberry silk will go for about 90 bucks. Next time you put on those sheets, just remember you're basically laying in a vast amount of worm spit. This silk moth here doesn't approve. Number 3. Ambergris Who knew solidified whale vomit could smell so good and cost so much? We understand that whales are endangered and all that, but you have to wonder who the heck discovered all the magical properties it seems to have. Also described as floating gold, ambergris is extremely hard to find and it often floats around for a few years before someone finds it. It also smells awful upon discovery and it must be aged for a long time in order to get the sweet earthy smell that customers go for. A large amount tends to come from tropical areas like in the Bahamas, China, Japan, Madagascar and other oceanic countries across the globe. The wax-like substance is basically a slurry of digestive liquids mixed with whatever the whale was eating, but believe it or not, it can still fetch a massive price. You'd be really lucky if you came across some, and some fortunate people might have stumbled upon a fortune from this stuff. You might remember this scene where Hannibal Lecter sends a letter while using ambergris lotion, which he would hope would lead to his discovery in Italy, which is one of the only countries that would allow it. Number 2. The Most Expensive Coffee You might not be too happy about where your coffee comes from after you hear about this one. Chances are you probably haven't tried this one yet, but if you have, you might be a little bit curious what gave this coffee that rich flavor. The world's most expensive coffee is being made right now in an area known as Thailand's Golden Triangle. An elephant is fed a mixture of fruit with coffee beans hidden inside. The beans don't get digested in the same manner as the fruit does, but apparently after you brew it, it gets that fruity hint to it. The beans are sorted out by hand by a person who probably doesn't enjoy their job too much. Then they get placed in a bag, and before you know it, it's in your warm cup of coffee. It's taken the name of Black Ivory Coffee, and it fetches a price of $50 a cup. Hopefully the elephants don't get too much of a caffeine rush while this process takes place. It makes you wonder if you can make this type of coffee yourself, and see if anyone can actually tell if it came from an elephant or not. But are you willing to collect the beans afterwards? Number 1. Spider Goat Silk do you think Spider Pig from the Simpsons movie was just a complete joke? Or are scientists actually mixing spider genes with other farm animals? The answer is yes. Spider silk is known for its unbelievable durability and the company known as BioSteel hopes to profit off spider goat milk. Okay, so the spider goat hybrid isn't quite as scary as you might think it would be. But spider genes are inserted into lactating goats and the spider silk comes from their milk. Hopefully something doesn't go too wrong during one of these experiments. The goats don't actually lactate spider webs or anything, but the milk contains a specific protein which can be extracted. This extra protein that's not usually there is used to make biosteel. Some sources claim this material is actually nine times stronger than steel. Spider silk is much stronger than normal silk used for cloth. Since spider webs are used to catch bugs moving at high speeds, it has to be much stronger than normal silk. 